Ladies and gentlemen, hello, welcome to another Move Louvre uh, episode. What are we eating today first? I don't know. It's a huge bag or something. I think I've had some of these before, like different flavors. I think there was like a chocolate one before, or, uh, like a, a fruit one before. Apple cinnamon, maybe. Apple, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, let's let's look up lore and get started. Uh, Lore me. Ah, brown sugar Carinto. Yeah, we've had Carinto. Uh, with over 2,000 years of history, Carinto is a classic in Japanese snack cuisine. Indulge in the satisfying crunch of Torinto infused with a rich brown sugar flavor. Yeah. So I've had this in chocolate and I think like some sort of fruit flavor. I think it was apple, but I might be wrong. Let's see what brown sugar tastes like. So they kind of just look like Cheetos. <laughs> like weird Cheetos. I mean, it's good. It's, like, crunchier than a Cheeto, I guess. Like, even crunchier than the crunchy Cheetos. And the brown sugar taste isn't, like, too overwhelming. Like, I kind of didn't love the chocolate ones. They're a little too sweet. This one just has, like, a coating. Yeah, it looks like a lot, but it's actually, like, pretty, pretty decent. But anyways, pretty good. But yeah, let's let's see what's up today. What what happened last episode? The racing one? Was it that we ended with the <laughs> the street race with uh Mr. Limo guy? Oh and the lacrosse shenanigans, yeah. Got it got it at the lacrosse team, surely. Anyway, see you in a second. Alright, we're back with a flashback in the park. Okay, we're playing Gorban. What the fuck's a Gorban? Rude. ケルトンと同じがいい。そこまでだ。ゲドラの手先目。正義の怒りで祝聖してやろう。オンド。いやめて。宇宙食鳥ゴルバン。ジャンプ。ドリルミルキーパンチ。What? <laughs> Dude, it really was a drill. It made him spiral. And that's how the 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 space villains win. Should have been Ultra Power Man. Or whatever, Power Ultra Man. Literally killed him. Proper etiquette, but also smart. <laughs> Cinnabon boy. I guess that's that's actually a pretty fitting punch name for a guy named Cinnabon boy. Oh, 
かったよよしやり直しだ宇宙食長ゴルバンジョーチャーダリルミルチジーズス Does not care, huh? Oh, God. Oh, well. He's alive. What is that? It sounds like a helicopter, but I'm assuming it's a drill. Hmm? Oh no, now he's waking up to the helicopter. I got it. It was in his dream. Uh, the transition! What the hell is all that noise? It's still dark outside. What time is it even? Ah, 5 a.m. Damn it, I'm wide awake now. Oh, she's awake too. What are you doing here? Don't just barge into someone else's house and watch their TV at this hour. That doesn't answer my question. What's this? Newsflash! Famous personal trainers who've worked with record setting athletes in many different countries have mysteriously arrived in Japan. The purpose of their visit currently remains unknown. Ah, there we go. You think that this might be what the bad feeling was about? Oh my god, is that Bruce Lee? It's the only reference I get. But where's the... Where's the top lacrosse player? Yeah, I, I don't think I did any other reference. To be fair, I'm not too versed in uh, sports knowledge. Look <laughs> <laughs> that buff guy. Sure did. So this is what those three idiots were talking about yesterday. That certainly did strike me as a possibility somewhere in the back of my mind. Train. Good. Then this should be nice and quick. Ask them to politely leave. No. Why not abuse it? You gotta win this lacrosse game, man. Seriously, Maya. Why does everything have to be so extravagant with you? Well, you really shouldn't have to apologize for something the three idiots did wrong. Yikes, someone's ice cold today. Relax, Sumita. She's already down in the dumps. You've got a point. 
あのような知り合いしかおらぬのだ<笑>決して迷惑をかけるつもりはない What? So you're saying you were trying to cause trouble before? バカなことを言うなあの時はあの時でそれが最良だと思っていたのだ Yeah, yeah. You're just digging your own grave at this point. Just quit while you're ahead. でも、ミツルギさんもだんだん私たちの感覚に近づいてきたのかな He's slowly becoming human. Maybe so. Otherwise, she wouldn't feel ashamed about this one getting out, right? どうであろうだが、私はいつでもそなたを尊重しているのだ。Right. Thanks, Sumita. You do? <laughs> I mean. Yeah, do me a favor and smell me, spare me the drill milky punch. I had a dream about it, actually. Way back when we were kids, you and me used to play Gorbon together. Cinnaboy? Just talking about how Sumita used to be quite the terror back when she was a little squirt. That's all. Oh, yeah, and get this. What the heck is that? Look at that rare Sumita face. What's the problem? I already told Mikoto about it when we bought that swimsuit. Yeah, actually, quite frequently. I wonder. <laughs> yeah, more often than usual lately. I had one just the other day, too. So, yep, this was the place. Man, we played so much here. Apparently not, because I remember we made the. I mean, it seems like pretty obvious that we interacted with her somewhat in this park. Obviously, she had, maybe for a short period of time. Um, well, not everything, obviously. Aww. I can't say something that embarrassing. <laughs> Nothing, really. After all the drill milky punches I took to the head, it's just a blur. Always were. But hey, why didn't you bulldoze this part along with everything else anyway? The song. Again. I know the answer, it's just... Uh, you gotta explain it though. I don't think it's reasonable for someone who's not a not a present, not a reader to know. At least I don't. I don't actually blame Taku for not immediately recognizing that, which I assume is a short interaction, or he probably would have recognized her, right? Huh? Well, uh, let's see. I'm asking you because I don't know. Hmm. Nope. Can't really think of anything. So. Maybe when it's your route, we'll remember. So, Eba, my Nikoko de Nanika did I on air. Nazo no young Yoshi me tie nano. That could, could have been a grand prophecy, but yeah, what was that all about? Kinny said it and I. Sa, Guzu Guzu stayed it, Chicox said it all. Hey. Yeah, it's cla isn't that class rep? Pretty hard to uh, mistake her. She's pretty noticeable with the extremely long hair. Like all the main heroines. <laughs> Sorry, I need to talk to class rep about something. Go on without me. Hey, class rep. What's this? You actually let sleep here for once. You, you up playing games all night or something? <laughs> you 
You think that might have had something to do with... We failed, by the way? We, we failed? Class rep gave a little nod. Whoa, hold on, seriously? Yeah, it's a big deal! You should have done... tried harder. Is this sports festival really stressing you out that much? Mm, right. What? Shit. What do you, these options seem weird. I don't actually know how to respond. Oh! Wasn't it like, can you convince Ayamane? And then it's like, I'll try my hardest or I can accept it, so I won't try my hardest. I don't, I don't remember the exact contacts actually. Let's look at the guide. I'm just, I actually think it's gonna be I can accept that, cause uh, that it's not a route, which is weird, cause I wanna play fucking lacrosse with the, well, I guess we wouldn't play, we'd watch them play. I don't know, this feels kinda bad, but it does you're just not in the spotlight. Unless they surprise me. Uh, guides. Really should just have this open. When we used to play. I can't accept it. Wow, that's fucked up. Whatever. Sorry, but I can't do it. Oh, I hope- I picked right. Oh, right? Shit. Said I can't accept that. Well, I can't, I can't go back now. I already closed it. I don't know why I closed it. <laughs> After saying I should keep it open. I don't know why either. Uh, but, I, you know, keep it open in, in case we get another choice. Alright, I can just press the back button. Yeah, can't accept it. That's that's crazy. What, what else are you doing right now, man? It's not because I don't want to or that I can't be bothered or anything like that. When you're this serious, I don't want to say yes unless I really mean it. You're so serious about this, you can't sleep at night. I just can't promise something like that so casually. So. To a side character. For what it's worth, I did try talking to Tama yesterday. I'm not trying to make excuses. I mean, I guess we were wish-washy from the start, but... I don't know, man. Just help her. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Definitely not. I wonder if I'm doing the right thing. But it would be irresponsible for me to say I'd do it right. I can't promise her something I can't deliver. Lacrosse, man. Think of the lacrosse. Yep, she's not here. Well, standard procedures, uh, mark her absent and call her parents. Marimo Chansai seems to have a subtle meeting behind it. Oh, we have a lot of time. I thought it was more recent, but we, we have a decent amount. Oh, man. <laughs> She's so sad, man. Bye-bye. Tell me about it. Nope, we know. We can't tell anyone about it. Trust me, you don't want to know. <laughs> it's for your own good. I've been having to keep way too many things to myself lately, out of consideration for all... for the well-being of everyone else around me. Man, my life sucks. Hair and protagonist life sucks. Unlucky. It's Tama? Hey! 
わったわよ。あやみねさん。Oh, she's done a tapped based. You take those. おはよう。ばばばばば。あなたね。挨拶くらいちゃんとできないのって。前に誰か言ってた。True owned. Grab. Wah! Shield. Hang on a second. Man, maybe I guess she is good at sports, man. That's kind of some crazy strength feat right there. Ayamine san? Kyo no chikok no riyu wa? Nani ni shiyo ka? Don't ask me. Ayamine, how strong are you? I can't even move. Mo chotto ma. Oh my god, those Mickey Mouse eyes. The old school one. What are you asking me for? I mean, come on, that's seriously the best you can come up with? A volcano of rage is about to erupt directly in front of me. Please do something about it. Hey, Amine, are you seriously going to stand there with a straight face and ask me that right now? Okay. Thank you, Tama, the voice of reason, as per always. She's right, violence never solves anything. Let her T-pose. Assert dominance. No! Yes, surely Makoto will do something. <laughs> totally ignored. That's not what we're talking about here at all. Or honestly, maybe not ignored. Maybe he's actually just daydreaming. Okay, time to eat. Oh, back to the lunch wars where Sumita continuously takes L's, but we still have to choose her anyways. Mikoto, what's all the fuss about? Just calm down. Dude, just calm down already. Tell me the news. Why? Ooh. What? What? Hey, hold on, I'm coming too. Tama's always there for the free food. That was a fast day. Oh, is she gonna ask Tama now, and then she's gonna reject it then? I can't get over it. Dude, the bell's so big. It's as big as her fist, man. It must be heavy. Really good neck strength. Uh oh. Uh. Uh, nothing. Tessrop's trying to get Tama to persuade Ayamane. Well, it's certainly not a bad idea, because we thought of it too, but... Regardless of what Ayamane said before, she probably couldn't turn Tama down so easily. What's up, buddy? 
<laughs> exactly. Dude, it's been a while. Hmm? Ooh. What that? They're joining in? No way, for real? Wow, never thought I'd see the day. Uh, oh, sure thing. Ooh, we're gaming. Hey, so what- oh wait, why am I reading? Hmm, alright, Maya. You get over here too, I'm about to start explaining. It's a- okay, I've been to a Japanese arcade before. For certain games you need like this- this card thing. Like you need two cards, one to load up money and one just like- It's almost like a save card or something. I remember I had two cards. It's called a, the GR Terminal. Or maybe it's like for certain games. I know for the Fate Grand Order Arcade, you have like a card. And then like when you get uh, heroes, they give you like mini cards you insert into the machine when you go back. And you have to carry them around. It's kind of dank. I'm pretty sure you two aren't gonna keep playing for very long, though. What that? In that case, you're gonna use this machine. First, get 200 yen from your wallet and put it in the slot. Okay. It's like three, three and a half Canadian dollars. Yeah. So what? Or actually, maybe I'm being too... I mean, it's it's been matching close to the Canadian dollar, right? I mean, this is also way back then. But in current day... Oh my god, why is it so close? 200 Japanese yen is $2.02. And two cents. Dude, like, when I went to Japan last time, shit was, like, so much higher. It's actually kind of based. Maybe a good time to go to Japan now, since it's so easy to uh, change money. Because I didn't say anything about it. Quit your complaining and just pay up. Nope. Whatever, cheap state. Skate. Welcome to the United Section of the Far East Earth. Didn't English. Pretty sweet, huh? Now push the trial enlistment button. All members of the GR crew welcome you aboard. Stand by the body machine of embarkment and please register the name of the passenger. Tell out your name by pushing the buttons on the screen. Yeah, you can enter it in Hiragana, Katada, Kana, Kanji, and even alphanumeric characters. And it doesn't have to be your real name either. My name in Romanji, Tataru. Oh yeah, I guess that would be different. You could just do the same thing. Romanji is just the English spelling of Japanese words. Basically, like, instead of, like, the Japanese characters are in alphanumeric. Hit the enter button when you're done. Now please go aboard, holding the card that has been issued. We kindly ask you to follow the cabin crew's orders. Thank you very much. Pa 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 pa! Again, it's like the same, it's basically the same sound remix and it, it just hits, it hits good, man. I still like the flashback, like, sadder song the most, but this one's a banger. Sit down over there and put this card in the slot. Are they done enough face? Maya versus Sumita? Yeah, so what should we do? <coughs> Yeah, that's not a bad idea. 
You know, fair teams. Me, Makoto versus Yumiko Mayo. No. <laughs> two cedars. Oh man, two cedars. Sounds good to me. Okay, Sumita, let's go. I wonder if you like did the mayor route, you would have run with her. Until the seatbelt is fastened, the seat will not move. Wanna sit at the front or the back? Oh, it's not side to side. If you sit behind me, you can see the back of my head. <laughs> hey. You know how to fasten the seatbelt? I was gonna say it's simple, but it is kind of overly complicated. I guess it's more for immersion than practicality, right? That's pretty intense for an arcade game. You must have done it wrong, the seat would be moving otherwise. Stupid. Still, could you at least try to keep that ribbon out of my face? It is a huge ribbon. And that antenna is dividing my view to view in half. Yo, at least he's commenting on it. It's accurate. Yank. <laughs> Hurry up, please. Oh, here we go. Move the seat. Please insert GR card. You see the card slot in front of you on the right? Put your card in there. Nice. Oh my god, you're so dumb. What do you mean? She's just... She's cosplaying. You don't have any preference on the map, right? Because we're two-player. Hmm? Because you're sitting in front. Good luck. I mean, they both say pilot name. I guess, oh, it's because, uh, the GR Kaiser, so she's the main pilot, which made sense to us. It'll be fine, it's all controlled with just two levers. You already seat belted in. If it looks bad, sure. We have confirmed the embarkation of the first machine. Please kindly wait until all of the positions for the attack have been completed. Mikoto, can you hear me? Maya, can you hear me? Mikoto, which positions are you in? Maya's on weapon. Okay, so... It's actually equal. So, Sumika's just controlling, uh... Like, movement. Where Tatru's controlling weapons. Sumika's piloting and I'm on weapons. Oh, you know, they're both doing it differently. I mean, I don't know what's harder. Probably moving is probably harder in this room. You got this, Sumika. No, I didn't. Positions for attack completed. I mean, we're probably gonna get smoked. I assume movement's more important in this sort of game. Just from our previous battle. Wah, Skaran. Man, doesn't it feel like we got this stage a lot? Let's see what you've got. Okay. Whoa, what are you doing? Can't you read the screen? The right foot pedal is for changing between attack mode and pilot mode. Don't do that while moving. Ah, 
I said I'll switch with you instead, Harry. Now come on, pilot this thing. <laughs> it's a game. How? It's only a game. Just do something already. True. Look, they're mocking us. Well, there goes a bunch of our health. Whoa. Hey, you hear that, Sumita? <laughs> Mia thinks we're nothing but prey. There's no way we can let her win. <laughs> the enemy has to be on the radar for me to do that. Turn toward them. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> we're getting smote. Don't just sit there and watch. Mikoto's moving his mech, no chase after him. Push down on both levers. <laughs> We're zooming. Ooh. Yeah. Actually, good move. <laughs> I thought she just went straight forward. And yet, our shields are already down below 50%. Let's trade places, Sumita. You can do it, Sumita. I mean, I want to cheer her on. But let's see. Uh, I bet I bet the right answer is cheer her on. And maybe for the other arts, just trade places. Because it seems like BM. Uh, you can do it, Sumita. Yeah, okay. You can do it. Sumita, we're at less than half shields. We're gonna lose if this keeps up, so do your best. Yeah, it just seems like kind of fucked up if you choose the other option. Take this. Owned. Yeah! Because I dodged. Sorry about that, Sumitra. I won't do it again. She doesn't even notice, man. It's fine. They didn't hit us. Keep charging forward. Now, Sumitra. Mikoto thinks he's getting owned, man. The Zhao Mian disappears below the stream for an instant. If I try shooting from above, it'd be hard for him to dodge. We lost? What the? <laughs> Guess we should have switched if you wanted to win. But why? The moment I jumped, the Zaumian's arm swung upward, clutching its knife in the hand, and since you threw the Kaiser like butter, oh no, it's just fucking me as a sword expert. We were in her range, man. It was just, uh, it was unlucky. <laughs> yep. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Oh, that's a good try. Yeah, that was a good match. In the second one, Mikoto and I both piloted, but the timer ran out. For the third, we let Sumita and Maya do whatever, and I got beat into a pulp. Yep. Try be better, Sumita. But wasn't it fun? Maybe if you train first, I'll spar with you. Hmm? By what? Oh boy, here we go. May is exaggerating things. Yeah. 
Chao Damblin. Very topical. In this day and age. A casino, like the ones in Las Vegas. Oh, sorry, for that, casinos are actually illegal in Japan. <laughs> uh, I mean, apparently pachinko, like, they didn't actually know that, because they have pachinko parlors, but those just, like, somehow, um, like, slip through the gambling, the anti-gambling laws, which is kind of funny. <laughs> kind of do the chad. Dude, how do you know so much about these kinds of things anyways? Yeah, I had no idea what the casino was. Hey! Just a ball of knowledge. What's up? Hey! We're on the same wavelength now. Hmm? <laughs> we did. True. No, I didn't. Oh, you noticed that? Given the background music and other sounds, I thought you'd miss it. Well, I figured that the fight lasted a little longer would have made it more fun. I didn't think you'd have like having to switch positions right after you get the hang of it. But you noticed in the end anyway, so it didn't matter. Sorry, my bad. Oops. After you get some extensive training. True? That's actually more important, I agree. Yeah, you're right about that. That's definitely the more pressing issue here. Ooh. She's gonna make me go jogging with her again, isn't she? I better sleep now then. Da, 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 da. Okay, that'll be the end of the episode. Thursday, November 1st. New month, new me. Hey, it's skipping right through the scroll parts. Different. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As always, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Muv Love, and I will see you next time. Peace.